plenty of our logs, many of you know that. He's going to the prom, I understand this year. All right, looking forward to the prom, getting his tux ready. By the way, he's graduating with honors, and in the fall, he will be attending the pre-engineering program at Florida Atlantic University. Ladies and gentlemen, we are so grateful and so honored to have you talk about a dynamo. Here's one right here. Alonzo, thank you for being with us and sharing some of your time and your story with us this evening. Good evening, everybody. I assume most of you like movies just like me, and uh, sometimes they reflect the content of our souls and our dreams. I certainly hope that some of you saw that film, 42. You know, the movie showing how Jackie Robinson overcame seemingly impossible odds at a time when racism permeated our society in general. You'll ask yourselves, what drove Mr. Robinson to greatness besides his relentless spirit? I firmly believe that it was the very fact that he was considered different. I'm not going to compare myself to one of the greatest baseball players in history, and I may not have had to put up a fight for equality the day I started school, but I did have to fight bullies of my own every once in a while for my different way of expressing the day I understood I was not able to speak due to the mental prison named autism. The one truth I know about autism is that it doesn't differentiate gender, skin color, nationality, language, upbringing, or social status. It can affect anybody. Back when I was diagnosed at the age of five, my parents had no idea what to do. The very concept of autism was so foreign to some doctors, they were clueless as to how I became that way or how I was going to function in society. Little did anyone realize that by the age of six, the very condition that held my mind prisoner would later push me to excel. Autism gave me heightened aptitude and creativity and laser-pointed concentration skills. With the unrelenting help of my teachers and parents, I learned to communicate properly and slowly but surely, I actually learned to utilize this mental prison to grant myself entry into a regular life. I was no longer required to stay in self-contained classes by the time I reached the third grade. Don't get me wrong, it was no easy task and there were good and bad days. But regardless, we persevered and that made the difference in the end. I have to confess that during my middle and early high school years, I merely focused on academic activities. I didn't push myself to the next level, nor did I seek out participating in clubs or making friends, as I felt the pressure was too much. Change can be extremely difficult for a person with autism. Helping create the Autism Speaks Club in my junior year in high school served as a platform to improving my social skills to the point where I could interact and make friends among peers, pushing myself not just to get ahead academically, but to inspire others as well, including other autistic teens who were not able to accept or overcome similar obstacles just as easily. I also got involved on the ACing Autism Program to teach kids with the condition to play tennis. It is impressive and humbling how helping others allows us to help ourselves in the process. The club at the high school is now on its second year and we've received tremendous backing and support from Autism Speaks. We collected over $1,000 for two years in a row for the Autism Speaks Walk of March here in West Palm Beach, but most importantly, we raised teacher and student awareness about autism. Autism Speaks has become a beacon of newfound hope for me. 
and for everyone affected by autism. The organization has shown that it sympathizes, cares for, and protects the people affected, and provides perspective for those who do not understand it at first. As of now, at the right old age of 18, I am a legal adult, a senior at Wellington High School who takes advanced classes as a member of a high-profile marketing academy called DECA, I've recently been to a competition in Orlando in which I had a little taste of as of how it feels to live on my own, and I've succeeded. I've been accepted to FAU to study computer science. I am in the National Honor Society, and I am best friends with Matt, the captain of the school's football, t t football team, who is here with us for the event. Tonight, we will light it up blue, starting with this bridge. And speaking to you as a beacon, I want to share my strength and my example as a man who is just a little different and who proves that there is always hope for those who sometimes feel hopeless or abandoned. Like in baseball, where all players wear jersey number 42 once a year to celebrate Mr. Robinson's accomplishments, I sincerely hope that at least once a year, we all wear blue to celebrate people with autism. If only to demonstrate that being different is not a bad thing at all. Sometimes differences make us better and stronger. I truly believe that there are no limits to what we can reach as humans. If we focus our attention, minds, and hearts, and simply go for it. Together, we can, and we, and we will make a difference in this world. Thank you for your attention, and have a great evening. <laughs>